This force and penny stock is beginning to gather lots of attention right now and has been backed by a billionaire influencer. I am always looking for the next big penny stock runner and I may have found one here with this micro cap stock that has several upcoming catalysts that could push the share price way up and trading volume is now only beginning to increase as investors become aware of this. In this video I will be looking at the upcoming catalysts for SITS stock and why this stock could once again make huge gains. Since the beginning of this month this stock has gained over 300% and after a little pullback this week it could be about to do the same thing again. It takes a lot of time to do this research and find these opportunities, so if you enjoy my videos and want me to create regular updates then can I ask you to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We recently passed 15,000 subscribers on the channel but amazingly 80% of my viewers are still unsubscribed. I'm aiming to get 200 likes on this video help me achieve this goal. And turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss out on any new content and don't miss out on the next penny stock runner. Remember that penny stocks are always risky, but big risk can bring big rewards. I'm not a financial advisor, now let's get into it with a quick overview of the company and what could make this such a good opportunity. Southern ITS International Inc. is a mergers and acquisitions company focused on business acquisition growth and expansion. They intend to own and control a portfolio of highly successful businesses and will focus on being a multinational conglomerate. As it says here, Southern Its International acquire innovative companies with a vision to create long-term shareholder value. They invest in companies that have the potential to generate returns through multiple avenues and they focus on creating a diversified global portfolio with a balanced mix of companies across different industries and regions. And I will talk more about this in a moment because SITS has already acquired several of these exciting companies and has got the backing of a billionaire media personality and businesswoman. Now this is an OTC company, but this is only beginning to gather some attention right now, in the past few weeks. The stock hit its 52 week low at the end of last month and then made a huge 300, nearly 400% gain within a week. Like look at this, the stock actually went from below 2 cents and then in the space of only 2 weeks had gone as high as 9.5 cent. Going back a few months ago the trading volume was non-existent or only a few thousand shares a day. Now its trading volume has gone way up, even hit more than 4 million shares traded last week. Now this is huge trading volume for any OTC company, but when we are talking about one that has a market cap of only about 6.5 million and a float of only 23 million shares, then we can clearly see that any increase in volume will have a huge impact on the share price just like it did in the past few weeks. Then there is the fact that the outstanding shares is only currently 162 million but the authorized shares is only 250 million. Now if you follow OTC penny stocks you will know that it is not uncommon to see stocks with billions of shares authorized. So looking at this, this looks like a very good share structure. And I'll speak more about this in a moment. As a holding company, Southern Its International is in the market to acquire a stake in various companies both public and private and the management team are looking to build a diverse portfolio buying entire companies or interests therein, involved in technology, oil and gas, manufacturing, real estate and other sectors which will then become operating subsidiaries of Southern Its International. The company has been making huge progress this year completing several acquisitions, such as the acquisition of Shibu Kuchur back in February, the 30% interest in e-commerce company Growth Goods Inc. in March, and in July, another 30% interest in Prestige Marketing Inc., which owns the exclusive USA distribution rights to the Meduma Cosmetic line, which is already highly popular in Europe and Asia, and SITS is looking to bring these products to the United States. But then last week, SITS subsidiary Pure Oil & Gas entered into an agreement with ICS Energy, whereby Pure is given the first right of refusal to fund certain future in oil and gas exploration efforts of ICS in exchange for a 50% working interest in those completed wells. Now ICS has granted Pure a 5% overriding royalty interest in all future wells drilled and completed by ICS irrespective of the funding source for such wells. So now this could turn out to be a massive deal for the company. Despite oil prices falling so much over the past 6 months, oil is expected to go right up again in the near future and continue to go up in the coming years. As we can see here from stocks like BP or Chevron or ExxonMobil, their share prices continue to rise which suggests to me that the market does fully expect oil and gas prices to rise again and rise again soon. 
this could turn out to be a great time for this company to be acquiring interest in oil and gas. Guys, if you've watched this far into the video and you enjoyed my content, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm always trying to find the next big opportunity in the market, and if you are subscribed to the channel, then you will know about all the stocks that we have talked about over the past year and done huge due diligence on. Now, looking at the company's financial statements, it's important to remember that this is a very early stage OTC company, and since they are only beginning, there is not much in terms of revenue. Yet we can see here that they have total assets of 207,000 and total liabilities of 461,000. The assets is made up of cash and investments and have actually increased over 65% so far in 2022, while the liabilities are mainly made up of notes payable and payments due to a related party. Liabilities have increased about 30% in 2022. Looking at the income statement, we can see only the financial information for 2022 because prior to this, and prior to the acquisitions of the companies that I've already mentioned, SITS had been a shell company with no operations, so there would have been no income statements. So we can see here that revenue so far this year is $60,000. With nearly half of this coming in the last three months, so revenue is increasing. But importantly, the gross margin is increasing with a fantastic margin of about 80%. The overall loss for nine months is 1 million, but again, this is getting better with only 200,000 of this coming in the past three months. And the majority of this is due to wages and consulting fees throughout the year, which I feel is to be expected when an acquisitions company is having to do due diligence on its acquisitions, along with all the other associated costs of these acquisitions. But now I expect to see revenue really improve in the coming months for a number of reasons. And there is a number of catalysts which I feel could drive the share price forward and be a reason for increasing volume on this stock right now. First of all, the company's main subsidiary, Shibu Kucher, has just now set up and began selling on Amazon Prime. And although it might take some time for this to take effect, this will greatly improve visibility of the brand and potentially place their products on a global market. Growth Goods Inc., which is another subsidiary of SITS, is the distribution company for Shibu with an 8,000 square foot warehouse located in Iowa. So all that is needed here is for this range of products to get some major exposure and I feel that this could be about to happen with the Shibu Peel getting some attention due to Kylie Jenner. As we can see here from earlier this month, December 5th, Kylie Jenner recently wore the Shibu Kucher signature panty peel in a, in a CR fashion book photo shoot. And when we look at the CR fashion book article, they have specifically mentioned this product. Now sometimes all it takes is a little publicity like this to send a product soaring in popularity and more mentions like this with Kylie Jenner would be sure to increase awareness. In fact, this article was on December 5th, December 5th, when the stock was only 2 cents. Within days, it had reached as high as nearly 10 cents. So the effect of little bits of publicity like this with Kylie Jenner can have a massive effect on a stock price. But for me, the two main catalysts at the moment for SITS stock are a little bit different. Now it clearly does not take much trading volume to move the share price, but while SITS stock is on the OTC as a shell company, there will be very limited investors looking to buy. And this is where the real opportunity comes from right now. Now if you follow my channel over the past year, we have looked at several of these types of situations and they usually see big gains. When a stock goes from being pink limited, having a yield sign, or goes from being a shell company to to a genuinely pink current listed company, it tends to have a big impact on both share volume and on share price. And as of earlier this week on December 19th, SITS filed a current report with OTC Markets stating that as a result of the continuing operations of Shibu as a wholly owned subsidiary of the company, the company has become an operating entity and thus not an entity with no or nominal operations. Therefore, the company no longer met the SEC definition of a shell company effective as of September 30th, 2022. And I can see this having a big impact on the stock once the shell status is removed from OTC markets. Now, there is links to all of this information in the description below, so check this out. But what do you think of the opportunity here at SITS stock? Looking at TradingView charts, we can see the massive jump the stock had recently, but more noticeably is the increase in volume. Like look at this only a couple of months ago, very little volume, but now there is volume every day. 
And while I have been recording this, the stock has gained another 12.5%, going from 4 cents up to 4.5 cents. But what do you guys think of this opportunity? Drop a comment and let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this is a good entry point or not? If you have any information that I should be aware of, then drop a comment and let me know your thoughts. Remember that I am not a financial advisor. OTC penny stocks involve huge risks. And while these huge risks can bring huge rewards, I highly recommend seeking the advice of a professional before making any investments in any stocks. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on notifications and I'll catch you in the next one.